Hey, what's up guys? Kanki here from Kanki's Typology. And today we are going to talk about what is extroverted thinking, also known as TE. So what is TE? What is extroverted thinking? Well, on a fundamental level, on a very beginner level, it's the function that gives the person awareness of what other people think. It's, you know, it makes sense, right? Uh, but it can also manifest itself in many different ways. For example, because TE users are aware of what people think, they also care about what people think about them. They care about their reputation, how people regard them. They kind of need to be respected. You know, they love uh, having the prestige, to say. They just, uh, they just love um, people just regarding them all, thinking highly of them. Like one of the ways to manipulate or a social engineer T users is to tell them, hey, I think very highly of you, right? Because they are aware and they care about the thoughts of other people. And if you tell them, hey, I think highly of you, then it makes them feel very good. The mechanisms of why that's the case will be explained in the future. However, for now, let's continue. TE users think in a very interesting way. They basically have tables in their heads and those tables have people around them. People that they know or people that they've heard a particular opinion from, maybe online or from a book or maybe, yeah, in real life. Those people make true or false judgments. And whatever the majority opinion is, is what the T user is going to consider as the truth. For example, if we have topic X and seven people out of 10 on the table say this is true, then the T user will conclude that this is true. If let's say the ma a majority of eight concludes that it is false, then it must be false. Because of this, T users are not really sources of truth themselves. They're not really sources of thinking themselves. They basically outsource their thinking to other people. They're external thinkers. That's why they're called extroverted thinkers. Thinking for them basically comes from other people. This does not mean that they're not intelligent. T users can actually be extremely intelligent. It's just that for them, they need to be around intelligent people. Because they're basically like thought vampires and they consume the thinking of other people. If they are around, you know, smart people, they're going to be smart. If they are around, you know, not as intelligent people or they are not reading enough books or the good, good qualities of books, then they will not be as intelligent. But this can also apply to people that are not TE users. But yeah, in general, uh, T users need to be around intelligent people, so they basically pick the heads of intelligent people, right? It's like, have you ever seen one of those shows where, you know, the vampire goes for someone that's good looking or has like tasty blood, whereas like, you know, if they go for a bad looking person, then the blood is gonna be disgusting. The same thing can be applied for T users and intelligence. If they, if they pick the heads of smart people, you know, they will get better tasting knowledge, let's say. And they will get stronger as a result. But what are some capabilities of extroverted thinking? Uh, one capability is that they're actually uh, very systematic. So people that have extroverted thinking in their first or second highest function or strongest function, they are very systematic, which means that uh, they do things in a very step-by-step -step way, in a very procedure-orientated way. Especially TE heroes, people that have extroverted thinking as their hero or first strongest function, they are the ones that are the best at making procedures. So for example, ESTJs and ENTJs who have TE hero, they are the ones that are the best at making procedures. They're amazing leaders because of this. They can often make plans and delegate really well. Uh, they're very good at organizing things and guaranteeing 
a particular outcome that they are going for. So yeah, the function TE is able to make procedures, is able to make rules and standards that will be utilized appropriately by people that will have to follow them. Napoleon, who was an ENTJ, uh, was also very good at making battle formations and procedures that his soldiers would follow. And he gained a lot of success based off of this. Uh, we also talked about how they care about their reputation. They do care about their status, but they also care about their achievements. Uh, they care about their achievements. Uh, they often mention their achievements or they try to take credit for certain things as they speak. Uh, like you can pay attention to someone, right? It's like, okay, is this person trying to take credit for what they did and trying to get people to regard them highly based off of their achievements? If they're like, oh yeah, I did this and I did that and look at all my achievements, you know? They're usually TE users. Not always, but they're usually TE users. I've, I've also talked about how TE users uh, basically have tables in their heads and the majority rules and decides what is true based on who think, what the majority thinks is true or false on each table. Another way T users think is they do inductive reasoning. So inductive reasoning is, is different from deductive reasoning. If deductive reasoning takes uh, reduction, where it removes certain things, inductive reasoning is all about adding things, adding certain qualifications, certain attributes to make something. For example, a TE user will be like, hey, this is a duck because, oh, you know, it walks like a duck, it sounds like a duck, has the shape of a duck, sounds like a duck, so it must be a duck, right? Well, no, it might not, might not actually be a duck. However, for a TE user, it is one because they have the traits of one. They inductively um, edit things up based on certain qualifications, certain traits, and they've inductively concluded that this thing, this thing is a duck. TE users can also often feel shame. So, so if they do something that might ruin their reputation, uh, they might feel shame. So that is often very interesting. I often hear... <laughs> so for me, um, my shame function or my TE function is very low. So because of this... I don't really feel ashamed that much. I can feel embarrassed, but not really shame. And I often have T users in my life tell me, hey, don't do this thing because it's improper and it's, it's a shameful thing to do. Because like people like, what are people going to think if you do this thing? Because T users are often like, hey, uh, I can do this because it's going to ruin my reputation. I mean, they are the people that really care what people think about them because it directly impacts their sense of self-worth. Whereas for me, I don't care that much. I care how people feel, but not how people think or what they think. A certain TE users can often also not want to associate with someone that is going to bring their status level down, as well as they can often seek relationships that will increase their status. But this depends on the kind of TE user you have uh, based on their type based on where that function is in their function stack, as well as where other functions are in their function stack, as well as other factors that are not necessarily type, but how a type grew up, their nurture, their circumstances that influence them. Because remember, these things are very important when trying to define certain aspects of people. And it's something that should always be considered. But with, with that note, I'd like to end the lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.